Hi there, Next Gen Profits. We're your spiritual parents. Craig. And Colette Toch. And we're sitting here in a hotel room in Houston, Texas. We're waiting for our shuttle. It's about, what, half an hour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half an hour. And we're on a flight on a back flight. to Orlando, Florida. But as we were packing and just meditating on everything that we've received and imparted during this mm -hmm. time from Memphis, Tennessee, and Houston, the subject came up. Mm -hmm. The power of the supernatural. Yes. The, the spark, if you will, that propels yeah. it forward. And God brought us to 1 Corinthians 12, verse 31. And he's been really highlighting this passage yes, yes. for us again and again. But earnestly desire the best gifts. Mm. And yet, and yet, mm -hmm. I show you a more excellent way. Today, we're mm. going to show you a more excellent way Amen. on how to Amen. tap into the oil and use the oil of generations past mm. in your bloodline in those men and women of god that you're Amen. receiving from and be able to take it to the next generation mm. you know we were having dinner last night with april and jabez ball they're mm. good friends of ours we love you guys huge shout out yes and mm -hmm. i tell you what we didn't even get to eat because no. we were so excited I, I, or, or we, when we did <laughs> eat we didn't know what we ate because we're so busy talking you kind of just putting putting it in your mouth and talking you know so yeah it was a great evening and we were yeah. talking about the power yes. mantles the anointing mm. and we were just throwing around ideas you know jabez is such an incredible teacher and mm -hmm. you know april she's the prophet and he was he was really digging into the word with me and it came back to this yeah. and yet i show you a more excellent way mm. A more excellent way to tap into the oil. A more mm. excellent way to walk in the supernatural. A more excellent way mm. to take what is mm. in the generations yes. behind us yes. and make sure. Guys, what's it yep. going to take? What's it going to take yes. to take the oil from generations past mm. and to pour it into this next generation? Yes, Every apostle out there, you know what I'm talking about. Yep. This burns in you. What's yep. it going to take? Yep. What is the more excellent way? You know, as he was speaking, it was interesting because he, he, he touched on something that even I felt is that when we're in the supernatural, it's so quickly, it's so easy to fall into the power, mm. the, the, the show. But, you know, I love what you're touching on here, Colette, because it's like without a certain element, mm. we miss the greatest opportunity to touch lives and to bring a, a movement. You know, it's one thing to bring healing. It's one thing to bring deliverance. It's one thing to see mighty moves of God. But for me, what happens afterwards? Mm -mm -mm. What happens afterwards when we have touched that body and healed it? What happens to that person afterwards? Come on. And that for me is where the, the fire is. And that is something I never want to lose is because mm -hmm. I love that person. I love the Lord. And if I can get this right and that love can continue Come into on. that person's life, if we can arrange a system that that person will not feel rejected, will not feel alone, will feel the love that continues to change them to, from glory to glory, guess what? We've, we've done something that many will not do. And we underestimate the power of mm. it. What is mm. the more excellent way? Yeah. Well, guys, if you know your Bible, if you just go to the next chapter here, it's 1 Corinthians 13. What's 1 Corinthians 13? <laughs> yep. An love. entire chapter on love. Now, this is interesting mm. because Apostle Paul starts in, in chapter 12 mm. talking all about the fivefold ministry yep. or the gifts, the, the power, gifts. power, healing, miracles. Oh. Bah, bah. You get excited. Signs and Let's wonders. Let's do it. Signs yep. and wonders. And then boom, he hits you with 13. Yep. He says, let me show you a more excellent way. Mm -hmm. And he goes on to describe the fruits of mm -hmm. love. Now, I don't just mean any gushy love. I mean agape the, love. Yeah. The kind of love that endures. The kind of love yes. that loves even though you've been rejected. Mm -hmm. The kind of love that opens your heart to that Ooh. leader to invest into them, knowing they're going to reject yeah. you, knowing they're probably going to tear you down, mm -hmm. knowing that it's not going to go well. No. Oh, I'm touching on something there. Yeah. You can even honor such a man of God. That's right. You know, I look at David. Here's a fantastic example. Yes. King David mm. didn't just honor Saul. No. I need you to understand something. Yes, he loved. He loved mm. Saul. He loved Saul. Mm. Elijah didn't just honor, uh, uh, sorry, Elisha didn't just honor yeah. Elijah, right? Yeah. He loved him because when he went up, he said, my father, my father, my father, my father. Mm. Guys, we've, we've lost this element 
in a culture, in a religious yes. culture, where everybody's trying for a new podium, trying for mm. a new circle, a trying title. for the power oh. and the title, we have lost yeah. the more excellent yes. way in the search for greater supernatural, yeah. greater prophetic, greater revelation. We've lost the more excellent yeah. way. You know, I'm just even looking at what Apostle Jenny Weaver is doing at the moment with all these baptisms. And I know that she's getting a lot of flack, but I watch her. And you know something about this man and woman of God? They love. love. They go where yes. angels fear to tread, not yes. because it's a new trick, no. not because it's a new idea, because they love. They mm. see God's yes. people. They see the They're need. You know, I, and, yeah. I was even watching the other day and she said something so beautiful. She was saying, guys, I'd love to create some worship services for children that are autistic. What can we do oh, to create wow. a yes. safe environment? Yeah. You know, people gave pushback on that. And I thought, you know, you don't understand the power that that movement yes. being formed in. Yes. And it's not just vision. No. There's many people who have vision. Come yes. on. There's tons of people who have patterns. Yep. There's tons of apostles out there who have blueprints. Yep. But what makes what she does different is the motivation behind it, it. And it's agape love. Yes. And guess what? It's breaking through boundaries. Mm. It's breaking into territories yep. that have never been broken into. We are on the crest of a new yes, wave in the body of Christ. And unless we mm. get our agape love in line yes. with the heavens, guys, we're going to miss it. And yep. our children are going to have to pick this wave up oh, and surf it to their generation we've yeah. got to get this right mm. when we look at yeah. all the revivalists of old yeah. we see mighty men and yeah. women but what are we willing to do yes to take the oils and the mantles yeah. of generations past mm. and to take them to the next generation yeah. what price are we willing to pay mm. i tell you what i'm concerned look i know i don't want to underestimate the power of God to put his his mantle <laughs> yeah. on those he chooses no. but I'll tell you what I am concerned about I'm concerned that we're in an era where well you got to cheat me right mm -hmm. and unless you give me what I want yeah. I'm not going to submit to you mm. unless you treat me and speak to me a certain way I'm not going to follow oh I'm not getting what I want out of you I don't yep. like this man of God I don't like this and Where's the love? That's right. Agape love should be our connection, mm. not the soup, not what we can get out of the supernatural, no. not what we can get out of the oil, no. not what we can get for our ministry. Mm. And until we, until we shift, guys, yep. into the more excellent way, <laughs> you're not seeing the supernatural in your oh. life. You're gonna lose out. You know, this brings me to a message we heard from Dr. Bell uh, a few weeks, a few days ago, uh, and he was on helps administration, and he said, you know, it's so sad that we look over it, we glance over it. But he mentioned something so crucial. He said, you know, do you realize that the apostles prayed over them and they prayed that signs and wonders would come from them? Come on. Now, guys, just listen to that. Helps and administration. We look in the church and those that have called to it or those that are asked to do it, we they do it so begrudgingly because they're like, oh, we're the dog's body. Oh, we're going to do all the stuff that nobody else wants to do. But... Back in the early church, they knew that they needed a power. They needed mm. an anointing far greater than what they could to serve the people. The love for the people, the love for what was needed in that time forced them to do these things in an excellent mm. manner that brought signs and wonders. Come on. Yeah, I mean, we're With talking Stephen. 1 Corinthians 12. Yeah. 28. It's yeah. right there. Yeah, right there. It's right there. It's two verses up. Yeah. I mean, Stephen, look what Stephen did. The signs and wonders that came because mm. the apostles prayed over them, anointed them, and they stepped ste into a place in the body of Christ that was so crucial Come to on. the move of God. Now, if we can do that, if we can understand that every level, whether you are helps, whether you're the usher, whether you're cleaning the toilets, whether you're parking cars, you know what? There is a supernatural power that Come is on. waiting to be accessed in you. There's an oil that is going to flow from you because you are in the body of Christ. The Come body on. of Christ is not separate parts. We are one. It flows from the head Come all on. the way down to the bottom. And when we come with an attitude mm. of love, an attitude of servanthood, guess what? That recipe is waiting Come for on. some ground shaking movement to break free i've got a project for you guys okay because as we came to prepare this message and i really feel the hard ground i really feel mm -hmm. like we're pushing through some things yeah you see we've taught our tribe respect you know our treat yeah, culture right culture. watch your tone mm -hmm. respect the man of god 
esteem Steam. others higher than yourself mm. show your appreciation yes. and be timely <laughs> in the work god's oh, called yeah. you to oh, do yeah. that's our treat culture yeah. that we that we teach our next gen prophets yeah. but i want to take it up a notch if i can do you love the man of god oh yes I just need you to think about this a little bit because I'm going to yeah. have some questions for you, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and I want you to challenge yourself because if you're not walking in agape love, you're actually missing out. That's you're right. not getting everything that you possibly could. Yeah. You're not getting the full impartation. No. You're not finding your place in the body mm -hmm. because, you know, if we scroll down in 1 That's Corinthians good. 13 to the very last verse, verse 13, and, and we know this. Now, um, and now abide faith, hope, love, uh, these three. But the greatest of these is love. I need you mm -hmm. to see love as the arrowhead. It's the tip that um, the other three give a force behind. Now, I don't doubt you've got mm -hmm. faith. I don't doubt you have faith for the exactly. supernatural. Exactly. I don't doubt you have faith to prophesy. But if you want real power, you need mm. all three. Yes, right. And to get all three, we need to get our hope in line. Because yes. when hope is aligned, yep. um, sorry, when love is aligned, hope <laughs> and faith get behind yes, it. Let me say that true. again, because yep. you didn't catch that. When love is aligned, yes. hope and faith get mm. behind it. Now imagine you have your portion mm. of faith. Imagine you have your portion of love. Of, of hope, right? And your portion of love. You've got all three of these. But when you align love first, mm. boom, you've got the superpower, yes. the faith you already have, the hope you already yes. have is going to push your so um, miracle. It's yes. going to push the miracle when it love is. is aligned. Is your love aligned? So oh, I love that. I, I know, right? Because, I mean, think, <laughs> you know, no, just, 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 you know, just with us stepping into this, it's like love gives you the boldness to step in. Oh, come on. But, right you know, there. That, that is it. You know, guys, as prophets, God gives you a prophetic word and you're so afraid to step out because you're, you're not sure if they're ready to receive mm. the word. You're not sure if the, that it's going to be accepted. You're not sure if it's Come the on. right environment. You're not sure if, the, you know, it's like, but when you see the love, when you look to the to the person, do you in the environment and you love in that situation, you love the man of God, you love the people, that boldness will come mm. out. And you will step out in the right moment because God is not a God of disorder, guys. When you step out, when you know, when you have that relationship with the Lord Jesus and you love Him so much, when He prompts you to step out, that is the time to step out. The love is the activator mm, that will help you. You, you know you cannot pray and, and heal that person. You know you cannot get wisdom. You can't get mm. a, a prophetic word without the love because love is always going to be the key that turns the lock. And that is why, next-gen prophet, it's the one thing Satan is trying yes. to attack in you. Yes. Mm. I need you to follow me a little bit here. I need you to follow me mm -hmm. because the Holy Spirit is tapping on your shoulder. Yep. And you've asked him what the plateau is. You asked mm. him what the blockage is. Yes. You've asked him why things aren't flowing. You've asked him why the finances aren't flowing. And why the anointings died down. Why the anointings died down. And I'm here to give you the answer, okay? Our hearts are not selective. I did a teaching yes. um, once mm -hmm. on the power of love. Yep. And I taught there that our hearts are not selective. That's right. You see, when we shut our heart off, when we stop loving, we think that we just stop loving that one person. But mm -hmm. our hearts are not selective. Once no, you not. shut that up, once you shut the door of your heart to one, you shut the door of your heart to the others. Yes. And what you do is you throttle your superpower. Oh, goodness me. You yes. see, we think mm -hmm. that love is optional. Mm. Oh, God, we should love because it's a good idea. We, mm -hmm. But you don't understand. Love is power. Yes. Love is the, is the key. I love what you said. Love is the key yeah, turns that it. turns the lock. It's power. Yep. So when Satan attacks your love and you let your love go... It's not a case of, oh, I need to go and get healing for my wounds. It's like, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. you just got your armor stripped from yep. you. Your love is your shield, guys. It's yep. your armor. Exactly. It keeps you covered. So when you step out to do God's work, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get javelins thrown at your back. Mm -hmm. uh, can you follow? Uh, can you, which of these can you tick off in the last <laughs> couple of weeks? Somebody goodness. said something terrible about you behind yep. your back. Yep. Somebody else lied about you. They may have even posted it to social media. I've seen a lot of this mm. lately. It's nasty. I've and just got to come out and tell I've the just got to come and warn the body. You know what I'm saying? They've come out yep. and they've said ugly things. They've lied about you. 
They've taken things that you've said and they twisted it. They may have even stolen friends from you. They've stolen ideas from you. Your mm. leadership has put you down. They promised that they were going to use you. They promised that there was going to be an open door. And just as you were ready to step out, they pulled that rug from out of you. Now suddenly everybody's ignoring you. You've got mm. those that are speaking bad about you. You've got your leader that is insulting you, putting you down, telling you to be quiet. How many of you ticked off so far? Oh, yeah. And every single one of those attacks and those affronts yeah. are aimed at your love. So, next mm. gen prophet, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to really let the devil win? Because, let me tell you something, out of all the disciples, yeah. there was one who died of natural causes. There is one who got the final say. There was one who got the final say of scripture. And he yeah. experienced realms of heaven in the supernatural right. that nobody, nobody else. else did. Not even Apostle Paul, who had such a grand revelation, yeah. who even had his yeah. experiences in heaven. Mm -hmm. Not even he penned down the revelation That's that so this yeah. apostle got, that still to this day we sit in amazement. Yeah. And who was that apostle? Come on, John. And who was he? The apostle of oh, love. Yeah. He was the one that leaned yeah. on Jesus' breast. Yeah. And while the others admired Jesus, honored mm. Jesus, believed Jesus, John was the one who agape loved Jesus. Yes. And because he agape loved Jesus, mm. he ascended into realms of heaven that mm. none of the others did. Satan is taking the realms of heaven from you by Oof. stealing your love. Yes. So I, I want to challenge you. Who is pushing against you? Mm -hmm. Which leader has come against you? Has mm. God even positioned you to receive? Stop trying so hard in your flesh to That's respect right. and honor and to say and do the right thing. You're trying to be all righteous and holy. <laughs> Forget about being righteous yeah. and holy. Yeah. Open your heart again Too to much. love. What can you do yes. today? Oh. Yes, here's the project. What can you do today to actively show your love mm. and your appreciation to either the man or woman of God? The church you're in, your brother, your sister, wherever your love's being attacked. Where's your love being attacked? Who is the source of yeah. that attack? Excellent. What can you do today to put mm. on your armor? How can mm. you show agape love? You begin yes. by this. Let me. You want to follow me in a prayer here. Father, I submit myself to you. Father, forgive yes. me. I got so caught up in myself. Yes. I got so caught up in what I feel and what I think and what, what my ministry and what my calling is that I forgot mm. that I'm part of the body. I'm part of a much bigger picture. Father, forgive me mm. for becoming frustrated. Forgive me for allowing those hurts to, to influence the way I feel, Father. Father, I just submit myself to you. And not only do I forgive, Father, I want you to bless the man mm. or the woman of God. Thank you, I speak your blessing now. You, I Lord. speak your love over them. I love you in the name mm. of Jesus. I love you in the name of Jesus. I open every door before you yes. that's of the Lord. I bind every work of the enemy right, that will come name. against you. I lift you up. I say Thank that you, everything your hand touches will prosper yes. in Jesus' name. May mm. you walk in Lots such abundant Lord, blessing. Lord. You don't need to even mm. know it was my prayer. You don't even need to know it was my name. You don't even need to care for me. I don't expect anything back from you. Yes. But I speak the blessing of the Lord on you. And I just mm. love you. I cover you with love. Can you, you pray Lord. this with me, yes. next gen prophet? If we all prayed it together, if we all prayed it together, what change would we see in the kingdom? That's it. Mm, I just remove those weeds that were around you, that were smothering you. I remove it right now that as you've committed to love, I remove those weeds. I remove those attacks from the enemy. And I call forth the anointing. I call forth the fire of God to purge you Come on. and to raise you up. I thank you, Father, that you will strengthen each and every one. Oh, you strengthen them right now where they're standing. Lord, they've been tired. Lord, they've been de de depressed. They've been, they've been let down. But Lord, you are the one that loves them more than they can love. And so I pour that love into them right now in the name of Jesus. And I cause that strength to rise up. I cause that boldness. I cause that place for them to stand and be the leaders you've called them to be. Mm, come on, Thank next you, gen Jesus. prophet. Thank Let's you, align our love with heaven. Amen. And our faith and our hope will get behind it. Yes. Don't forget, if you haven't had all your training yet, Craig and I have made available for free our entire prophetic school curriculum. Amen. You can go and enroll now for free. Free <laughs> prophetic school. Free 
propheticschool.com. Go yeah. free propheticschool.com. Go and get our entire yes. curriculum for absolutely free. Yeah, we're gonna love you harder. We're gonna love you deeper. We're gonna love you like you've never been loved, mm -hmm. next gen prophet, because we believe in you. Amen. We understand your process, yeah, we do. and I never want you to feel that you're in that process alone. No. We're covering you. We got your backs. Thanks for writing in. Thanks for posting. Everybody that's been posting on mm -hmm. our Facebook page. We're and, covering us in prayer. And, and if you, hey, and if you're watching yep. this on one of our social media, or if you're listening to it on our podcast channel, give us a shout out. Yes. Tell us your name. Tell us your process. Tell me that you prayed that you got it love done. Did you get it Amen. love done? Did you align your love? I want to know mm -hmm. because together we are going to propel this movement yes, we are. to the next generation. Freepropheticschool.com. Come and get your training for absolutely free. Love you guys. And uh, yeah. We better get the plane. I was just looking at the time. We need to go catch a plane. Love Mwah. you bye, guys. Bye. bye. bye.